Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in and joining me today on my channel. Today is going to be a video about how you can wear glamorous makeup that's not so overdone for a daytime formal event. I don't know about you, but when I do daytime events that are formal, for example, I had to go to a christening a few weeks ago, but I didn't want to look caked on. I didn't want my eyes to look over dramatic. So I like to go for a little bit of a more downplayed look, especially with like the um, foundation that I wear on my face. I don't go with super full coverage. And by no means is this the law of how to wear your makeup during the daytime. You can do whatever you want. I just wanted to share with you all how I like to wear my makeup for a daytime formal event. So I've already applied my Rapid Lash Eyelash Accelerator to my upper lashes. And then I moved in with my Beauty Blender and my Makeup Brush by Real Techniques. And I've already applied my foundation and my concealer. Today's concealer is by LA Girl Pro Conceal and my foundation is by Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. I'm starting off with this contoured blending brush and then using the palette by Smashbox Full Exposure which has four shimmer shades and four matte shades. Starting from left to right, the shimmer shades are S1, S3, S4, S6 and the matte shades are M1, M3, M4, M6. Starting off with the contour blending brush that I bought from Amazon.com. I will insert a picture so you know which company I used. I'm going to start with the color S4 on the top row, which is the shimmer shade. And I'm going to take my brush and lightly work that into my crease, slightly overlapping on my lid and also slightly overlapping on my brow bone. Now I'm moving in with my e.l.f. Professional Eye Crease Brush. And I'm going to use the color on the top row, which is the shimmer shade S1. It's a very nice, deep, shimmery color. I'm only going to pat the color into the outer corner of my upper lid and working it into the crease, but not extending it all the way through the eye. And the most important reason for the patting is because I really just want to concentrate the color right in that specific area. Now I'll move over to the other side and try to make sure that both sides are as symmetrical as possible. I'm going to now go in with my NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It using my Beauty Blender and I'll start the baking process now. I don't start the baking process in the very beginning because I've noticed that it just seems to be a little too overdramatic when I brush it away. Now using my e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush I'll be using the color S3 and what I want to do is just get as much color on the brush and only concentrate that on the center of my lid using that tapping motion that I used for the outer corner of my lids. Now using an average concealer brush, I'm going to use the color M4 and I'm just going to go right underneath my eyebrow all along the eyebrow bone and that's going to be a sweeping brushing motion just to give it some nice highlight. Going back in with my blending brush and the color S4, what I want to do now is I want to tone down the outer corner and blend out that deep color out into the rest of my eye. Using the crease brush again, I'm going to go into the inner corners of my eyelid just to give that eyeshadow color look some depth. And now once again with the contour blending brush, I'm going to work that inner corner with no additional product just to wisp it out and also tone it down. Okay so baking is done and now it's time to wisp away that extra powder. Usually at this stage of the game I would be going in with some black eyeshadow to add even more depth but because this is a daytime event I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Spray, spray it on my crease brush and go back into the color S1 then use tapping motions to concentrate the color right in the crease of my eye on both outer and inner corners of my eye. Using the blending brush, I just want to lightly sweep over the creases that I made just so that it's not such a harsh line. Now it's time for some lashes. But first I'll use my Anastasia Beverly Hills in medium brown eyebrow pencil as an eyeliner just because I have really oily skin and I want to make sure it's got staying power for this event. Next I'm treating my lips with Dr. Jard's Ceramid and Lip Treatment just to get it nice and moist before I put my lip color. Let's clamp those eyelashes so we get nice eyelash placement. 
moving in with my e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner just before I apply my lashes. This will be the first of several layers of eyeliner. My eyelash selection for today will be the Elite Lashes in number 18 black. So now I'm going over with my eyeliner and I want to work very slowly at the base of my lashes. I start from one corner first, working from inner to outer, and then I go from outer to inner because I'm not such an expert where I can get that wing just going straight across in one stroking motion. So I'm going to use a very steady hand and maybe a fingernail here or there just to make sure that I get that wing out. And of course, Mother Nature needs to play that little trick on me today for this event and bless me with an extra guest. Again, with a steady hand, just working from the inner to outer and then from the outer to inner just to get that wing action. In the past, I always found that my eyelashes throughout the course of the event would tend to lift a little at the corners, either inner or outer. So what I now do is I focus the glue on the inner and outer corners of the eyelash and then spread it along the rest of the band, but keeping most of the product at the corners. When I apply my lashes, I focus the initial application at the center of my lash, but because the glue is still wet, and damp, I'm able to slide it a little bit from side to side minimally just so that I make sure that I get the perfect fit right along my eyelash line. And then the rest from there is just kind of like squeezing and pushing in and squeezing against the eyelash and pushing in. And make sure that you allow for at least like 10 to 15 seconds up to 20 seconds of drying time so that the glue is slightly tacky. So this way it's damp enough where you can make minimal adjustments to your eyelash without getting the glue all over the place. And now I just go in really close with the uh, magnifying mirror to make sure that my lashes are on evenly. And with my liquid eyeliner, I go over again on top so that the band is not so detectable. Little smudges that I make here and there, I take the back of my tweezer and use that because I notice that a non-porous surface like metal uh, helps to wipe away the eyeliner. And for the face, to top everything off, I'm using my NYC 707 uh, just to go along the cheekbone and part of the, uh, I guess you would call it the contour crease area, a little bit on, oh yeah, that guy got to dot him up and pat that away. But I like to go for as natural a look as possible in the daytime. As I said, I don't want to be too overdramatic. Okay, I seem to be satisfied. I'm going to finish it off with NYX Matte Finishing Spray. And here's your final product. This is how an everyday woman who's not a makeup artist gets ready for a daytime formal event. Here's an insert of the sheer lip gloss that I wear just to keep the toned down look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you appreciated the video. I hope you were able to get anything out of it. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to add, feel free to leave comments down below and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And you're always welcome to join the party and subscribe. Have happy holidays, everyone.